Hi, hi, hi. Grace Wood once again from Boji Farms found in Rakai District. Okay, we want to continue with uh, some of those factors why most of us consider mixed farming, how we came about to go about mixed farming on our farms. Like I earlier told you on in 2015, I started with uh, goat farming and then I added on matoke. Later, I added on sheep farming. And uh, recently, I started venturing into coffee farming. So a person watching me may wonder, why those four projects? Why did you, why, what were the factors that, co that you considered or that you looked at to do that decision of mixed farming and why those particular projects? So some of the things I looked at is uh, my neighborhood. Every time you are going to do a project in your area, look at your neighborhood what are they planting what are they growing why every time the neighborhood is doing the same things as you it means it will be easy for you to negotiate for market because all of you in the neighborhood are doing the same things for example goats almost everyone in my area uh, is farming goats they have coffee they have matoke so in the case of uh, a big supply of goats I always run to my neighbors. In the case they want goats, they always run to me. In the case of um, of uh, coffee, in case uh, I've not started having harvesting coffee, but uh, people in the neighborhood, they always the brokers are always looking out for those people with uh, bigger kilograms or numbers of uh, kilograms of coffee to look up to. So don't go for something in your neighborhood. You are the only one doing it. Because marketing it will be hard for you. Number two, the project you want to venture into should be kind of related, basically interconnect to the next project you want. For example, I told you I started with goat farming and I later continued with matoke farming. Why? Because I knew the manure from the goats will eventually go into my matoke. The manure from the goats will feed my coffee. Are you getting me, guys? And then some other aspect I considered also was to look for short and long-term projects. Some of you, especially me, some of the mistakes I committed first, the mistakes I did was to venture into both long-term. That was go, uh, goats, goats on a monthly, on a monthly basis, and the matoke also on a monthly basis. So I consider it a long-term project. So I didn't consider short-term crop, short-term uh, project. Reason being, for the last two years, I've been doing, uh, growing short-term crops like uh, uh, beans, Irish potato, maize. But now I'm only focusing on uh, uh, sweet potato and beans. Because as I wait for the money to come from the goats, I can always get money from the short-term crops. These are short-term crops that grow within three months. You are able to harvest do what it takes and then get money, your back, your money back, your money back. Number three, the other factor was the level of capital, the kind of capital you have. If you have capital, my, my capital, my startup capital of the goat, of the goat uh, project was for Kuyiya. I didn't have enough money. So what I did, I started with a, a very small project of 30 goats. And I also remember I worked with a the guy who was building my house the goat house to be able to put something in place because i didn't have enough money and then i also realized that in my neighborhood and also in the neighborhood district that is uh isinjiro they had lots and lots of good suckers and with my little capital i remember i sold only 20 goats from my herd and i brought uh two fusos of suckers to to come and plant matoke and I started with five acres. Later on, I went to ten to another five. And right now we are having 22 acres of matoke. But I consider it cheap. Reason being, with the magic with matoke, once you get the initial suckers, after one year or less than one year, you can still uproot some of those uh, excess suckers and you replant elsewhere. And remember, we have plenty of goat's manure. So I didn't have enough capital. And some of you who come at the farm always ask me, how long have you been here? You have massive projects. But this is how the Chibalo goes about. And the other issue is uh, timing. Timing to earn from. How do you time? How do you time? 
it still runs into short and long term project hope you have understood me guys timing is key i also realized that uh i'm not growing younger anymore so time may come i may want to reduce on my goats and then maybe venture into cattle fattening because my energy levels may not allow me to do the goat farming business it requires some kind of sanity and some kind of hard work there are quite a number of activities involved in goat farming it's a profitable venture but you must put in your effort so timing is key also uh lastly i'm reminding you about our goat farming class master class is going to be in sembable district it's going to be a three-day training both theory and practical for those who are not in uganda we are going to have the online presence everybody can be able to tune in for a smaller cost maybe half of the cost of 350 so that everybody is not left out for my uh, those interested in dopa ship we are bringing in ship in uh, march please check us out also reach us on uh, 0702850600 we are bringing in our other consignment from another farm in march please don't be left out